all right guys welcome back this is gonna be a two-parter so this is part two so i left off getting ready to show you guys the wood stamps that i picked up at the crafty uh yard sale at the enchanted cottage in lewisville north carolina and i scored some really cute wood stamps okay so here's the first one i got a lot of snowmen y'all know i love snowmen and this one is uh, 1994 Annette Ellen Watkins and it's a cute little skating snowman isn't that adorable it's all red rubber in good condition it's been gently used isn't that a cute image love that so I got him stick him there I got one little Snoopy because just he's too cute this is driving Woodstock um, by stamp abilities couldn't pass up a cute Snoopy and I don't think I have any Snoopies but this one doesn't even look like it's been used so not quite sure. This one's probably not that old. Uh, 2005. So not that old. It's almost 20 years old. Isn't that funny? Uh, this cute one is called Morning Star. I don't even know if they're still in business anymore. But he looks kind of like a s'more. Like a marshmallow uh, snowman. And he's cute. I don't think that's been used at all either. And it's very nice and soft. I thought he was cute. Be cute on a tag. Like a little bag of candy or something. Move my little drink over here. Um, let's get all the snowmen out of the way. This one is Sarasota Stamps from Sarasota, Florida. I've seen them and I think I have some of their stuff. Um, this one's from 2004. And it's a cute little snowman family. Look, you have the mom and the dad and the little baby. And isn't that cute? And this one may have been stamped a little bit. And again, it's real nice and soft super adorable i hear sterling upstairs she's up from nap then i found this one um and it's kind of like uh let's see if it's sarah's uh, it's serendipity stamps from 2005 and it's a little mom or grandma she's got a little apron isn't that cute that'd be cute on that'd be cute on a tag as well as well as a card super fun She's got a cute little happy face and a little hat. She's ready to go. This one here is another little grouping. And this one is a PSX. You can always tell the wood feels different. This one's from 2001. And it's just a fun little grouping of snowmen. Like they're out and about getting ready for a snowball fight. And that one too is nice and soft. Super good. It's got a little bird, a little tree. Okay, this one I just loved. This one, this is super cute. It is like a dangling little snowman. See, he's holding them, and um, thought that was really, really cute. This one's about to fall. This one is Sarasota. This is 1992 to 2008. I don't think they're still in business. I'll have to double check. Isn't that cute? That'd be cute on a slimline card. So I got that one. Any other? Yeah, just a couple more snowmen. There's two more it looks like yeah got this one this one is Northwoods from 2007 this one's really cute still nice and soft and it's got a little wagon going for a walk going to get its Christmas tree super cute it's adorable I don't think they have names on these now um then I have another snowman right here. This one's really cute. This one is called Snowy Skates, and this is a penny black from 1998. And you're gonna recognize Penny Black. It's Penny Black style. Super cute. And this one's been gently used, but still in good condition. I love the patchwork little knitted hat. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Adorable. Love that. Love that. Love that. I think that's all of the snowmen. I found this little girl. She's nice and adorable. This one is Darcy's from 1992 Country Folk. She's got her little checkered dress. And look, she's going out and about. She's got her little walking stick in her basket. Isn't she cute? Little pigtails. Barely used. Hard to tell. Super cute. Set that there. Um, I picked this one up. This one just called my name. How adorable is she? The little bee. And that one cute. So this one's probably not as old. This one is Image Tree by EK Success. It's called Honey Girl. Doesn't have a year now. 
I don't think that one's that old, but she is adorable. Isn't she cute? And she's green. But again, really soft. Super cute. Love that little image. That'd be cute with some little bee stamps. She's so cute. Yeah, don't remember seeing those around. Okay, then I have a house mouse, which I think I might have one similar to this one. Nope, mine's with a butterfly, and this is with a dragonfly, so that's good. This one's got a little bit of inking mess. Regularly $8.40, and this one is Stampa Rose, Rosa out of Santa Rosa, California, dragonflying from 1999 House Mouse Designs. Number four or five. So cute. I love dragonflies. And it's in good shape too. It looks like it's been inked more on the block than actual stamp. Um, I picked up this little basket. I've got a couple of little baskets already. And this one is a Judith. This is Judith on it. And then a nice little basket. I could fill it with lots of different things. Flowers. Uh, all kinds of fun things. So I've got that one. And then this one I just love. This one is uh, Inka Dinka Do. Are they still making stamps? Um, but it is an image of like a beach image, like when you go to the pier and they have all the rides. Isn't that cute? I love that. That'd be cute on some of my summer albums. Like, very cute, like Wildwood, New Jersey or something like that. Um, I found this one. This one is a Heartfelt Creations. Does it have a year? Nope, but it was originally $10. And it is just a scroll with Silent Night music. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. That'd be cute as a background or your main focal point or the card. Super pretty. The last two, just they're, they're just whimsical, and I just thought they were really, really cute. They're serendipity stamps from 2007, and they don't have names, but they're like, look, these cute little quirky little hearts. His and hers. Aren't they cute? They just remind me like they'd be dancing on the card. Super cute. Look, she's got some little lips. Look at those little lips. She's got high heels, and he just looks like he's ready to go out on the town. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Oh, you look. Just think they were, those are just fun. It's fun. And the last one I picked up is the Stampin' Up set, and it is a wood mounted step uh, stamp, and I'll have to do a little bit of repair. It was $2, but it's the bingo. So I don't know that I will mount it because it looks like it's been partially unmounted. Um, it looks like I might have to clean it up again a little bit. It's, yeah, I could probably keep it like that's been put on the repositionable, but there's the wood block in there, which is stuck to the box, the original, the way it was intended. I can come in here and clean up this. People did not such a great job, so I'll come in here and clean that up a little bit, but I thought this would be fun to create some little bingo cards. Oh, I love bingo cards for my mini albums. Okay, so that's all the wood stamps that I got. Aren't they cute? I do love them. Um, not a ton of wood stamps, but several people had them. And a lot of them, like I said, uh, I think um, most of them I got like four for a dollar or two for a dollar. Mostly four for a dollar. I bought a bo bunch from her that were four for a dollar. She actually ended up giving me a really good deal. So they were probably even cheaper than that. So let me move these out of the way. And I'm going to show you my freebies that I got um, from my one friend. She had a, a whole big bag of stuff. I, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. This is some of the Distress Glitter Vintage Photo. So I got that. Then she had just some bunch of random stuff. These are envelopes and they're holographic. Oh, that's cute. Super fun. So I got those. And get the big stuff out of the way. Some more envelopes. These are called Gift Fall, Gift of Fall Add-on. <coughs> this is Stampin' Up. And sorry guys, I've been talking too much today. I think these are card bases and then these pretty envelopes. There's all this in there too. <coughs> so I have to, yeah, I think they're card bases. Sorry, I'm coughing. Talk, running my mouth too much today. <coughs> this one is I'm taking another drink of water. Good vibes, Project Life. Oh, um, it's like a whole little pack of stickers, and there's some washi in there, and I think there's some sequins in there. A whole bunch of goodness in here. It's stuffed in here. Get it out. So this is from. What year does this say? 
<coughs> it just says Project Life by Stampin' Up. So there is some chipboard. That's probably, and then these pretty cards. Oh yeah, these are cute. I'm a bigly remember these. A bunch of those in there. And then some alpha stickers. Those are pretty. A bunch of those. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I keep coughing. And these are like brass. Pretty pretty. And some sequins. And some enamels in there. Some paper clips are in there. <coughs> and some clear stickers. And then some little tiny little journaling spots. That's a lot in my little bag. Again, this was some of my freebies. I picked these little tags up, these little labels. Y'all remember these? Yep, I could ink those. I could leave them. Gosh, look at my coffin. The spell's gonna come on. I got these. This is from Christmas Collection, but they're little burlap bows. Super cute. Got those. These are little yellow bicycle. I don't even know if these, some of these companies are even still... Um, <coughs> in business. These are originally from uh, 2014 Momenta. But it says little yellow bicycle. <laughs> Maybe they merged. Not sure. Um, but these are little wood veneers with like travel theme. Explore, discover, vacation, adventure, journey, and travel. Super cute. Add that to my wood veneer stash. These, these little blings were stuck to this one, but these are Keller Creations. I know they're still in business and they still do um, a lot of shows. So I picked up a couple of these that she had in there. These are just cute little add-ons on cards or uh, pages. This is like Christmas uh, letter boards. <coughs> and I thought there were a couple more. Yeah, this one, super cute. Again, you can use these for layering. She had a couple that were Disney inspired, magical. Super fun. So I grabbed most of those, some more of the letter ones. These are like Disney inspired, or all, all about the mouse. Magic starts here. Super fun. And this one would be fun for a little some beach albums. <clears throat> These are a little bit larger format, little journaling spots. Celebration ones. And I think that's all of that kind of thing. There's more freebies. Um, this I got from another person, and I bought a bunch of stuff from her, and she said I, she had a free basket. So I picked out this birthday bundle. Um, it says five stamps, ink spot. I don't know that the ink spot is still in there, but that's fine. But um, I think the bags are not in there, but the stamp is. So I went ahead and picked that up. A couple stamps in there. Another room. Um, this was fun. This is part of the freebie box from my friend. It's called a pinwheel pocket. And yes, I can make those. But when the work's already done, and I have a punch that makes smaller versions of these. thought this would be fun. So I picked up a couple of those out of her box. And mini albums that would be fun for like a little interactive thing. <clears throat> and I picked these Jolies up. Who doesn't love candy canes? Those were in the freebie. These Hooray by My Mind's Eye puffy stickers, and they're really, really cute. Look at the colors on them. Aren't those adorable? Reminds me of cotton candy. And this little stamp set was in there. There's no, oh yeah, Matter of Time by Technique Tuesday. It was just a matter of time, the story of today, good times, spending time with you, time together. This time was different. Crazy busy times, remember the time, best time ever, every single time. Super cute. Those would be great on journaling cards. Yeah, I like that. And some more. These were, again, These all these were in her freebie box. Um, I think I had these in the past. So I picked up those. Those are from um, Hobby Lobby. Picked up these little dimensional, they've got a little thickness to them. Hearts. Some cute little bumblebees. <clears throat> this was in there. This was dye in there. So this is part of the free. Um, and that's what it looks like. That's what it cuts out in the paper. Do you see that? See the little heart that cuts out? And then you have this little small heart. Isn't that cute? Super cute. So I don't have anything like that. So that's Penny Black. That was in her free box. She had a bunch of these Dazzle. Do you remember these? I still love these. 
I use these occasionally, but I got a bunch of those to play with. There's butterflies and flowers and hearts, leaves. That'd be great for fall and grateful cards. Some birds, butterflies, super cute. And I don't have a ton of silver. I got a lot of the gold. So I got that. Still freebie stuff. This is um, a freebie and it, all the pieces are in there. This is Love and Adore and I think I have some of this collection. There's the little heart that came out of that one. Super cute. Again, these were all in a free box. Uh, couldn't turn out this Jolie's peanut butter and jelly. And then these, um, this is Greenbrier. So that Greenbrier is Dollar Tree. Some little word phrases, stickers. Okay. Um, I think that's it from the yard sale. I did stop at a couple of um, regular yard sales. And I wanted to share with you what I got that's craft related. It was one right down the street from me and they had a box marked 25 cents and there were Cricut cartridges. There was three of them in there. One was storybook, which I already have. And um, I don't think I have new arrival. I'll have to check my stash. I know I have a baby one, but I don't think it's this one. But for a quarter, <clears throat> I still have my original machine that these will, these will fit in and it still works. So the cartridge is in there and the book and then the overlay and yes I still use my original Cricut from time to time and from a quarter yeah great tool to have even though I don't use it as much as I used to and then Animal Kingdom and this has some really cool animals on there I know this is old school but again the overlays in there the books in there and the cartridges in there so for a quarter yeah of course it came home with me and uh I can make all kinds of stuff with this. Super cute. So I'll look into those later. The other thing that I did pick up um, for my craft room was this cool thing. <clears throat> this is a letter organizer, like paper, and it pulls out. How cool is that? I have a wood version of this, which first I thought maybe I'll use it as a puzzle rack upstairs in the playroom but I have a puzzle rack over here that I keep my dies on. So I may take the puzzle rack, put it upstairs in the playroom, and then convert this to my die storage. And what I have, I'll have to do a separate video on that, is I have my dies on um, the thin, um, let me scoot this over before it falls, on the thin canvas sheets. It's um canvas board and then I put the magnets on it and my dies are on there and it takes up so much less space and I can just pull them out this one actually will all pull out it's kind of cool so I don't have to like fish in there so I think I'm going to use this here as storage or I can use it for paper but I really like the die and because it's metal I can actually utilize this to put the dies on the side put a piece of magnet on here so work out all right so guys, I'm looking around. I think that's finally it. So two parts to this haul video. I'm really excited about this. Who would have thought? Old school die. I know this is quite a while. That's the pie. That and a couple of these wood stamp images. I mean, how cute is that? That would be cute with, where'd that heart die go? Uh, I don't know where I threw it. Mm. I need to start playing with this stuff. Where did I just put it? I just had it, y'all. Isn't that sad? I have so many piles in here. The cute little heart die, that penny black one. I don't know what I did with it. It's here somewhere. That would be cute. Because she's got a little heart, little cute little heart. And then the, the these guys. And well, these funky little things. Are they not the cutest? All right, guys. So put some of this stuff away. Um, I'll go out and play with my little grandbaby um, and come back down here and put some of this stuff away. And I need to start creating. I got all this stuff. I need to start creating. I'm also excited about this. What do y'all think about this? Who has this? Remember this? Is that not cute? I know there's wood stamps like this. But this is going to be so much fun. It's going to be work. I'm not going to lie. Hoser cabinet. Yep. 
So that was a score, even at the $15 price. That was the most expensive thing I got. Guys, let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite item? And I appreciate you all watching. I've had a bunch of new subscribers come on lately. So thank you and welcome. Um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend, what's left of it. And hope you have some good crafting time. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, much love. Bye, everybody.